Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Wow, huge news late Sunday last night. We had Donald Trump sign the $600 stimulus check bill. Trump's signature of the $900 billion COVID relief package extends unemployment benefits for millions of jobless people, gig workers, independent contractors, as well as the long-term unemployed. You know, this is good news. At least the people of the United States will get some funding. I assume that direct the first rounds of direct deposits will start as early as January 4th next week. So it's great that we can get some direct financial aid to those who need it. Um, but the entire sequence of events is very surprising to me in the last 72 hours. You know, Trump's messaging in his press conferences, remember he said that the initial amount was disgraceful. And then he went on to say that the bill has a lot of pork that needs to be cut. You know, we need to divert money from foreign aid. And on Twitter yesterday, even Trump said he wanted $2,000 stimulus check plus another 2000 for, you know, de dependents or other people in the family. So this is a huge 180 degree turn from what Trump was communicating. And as I said, we should see the first round of direct deposits on January 4th. It means that the rental assistance program of 25 billion will be passed. It's very important to apply to that if you need it as a renter, you know, and everything else looks like it will be passed unchanged. The energy tax credits, vaccine funding, uh, state and local funding. So it's very strange that literally nothing was changed by um, going forward. And Trump delayed this, you know, beginning up to 72 hours saying that he was not going to sign it. And he didn't seem to really gain from that. And it's very unusual for Trump to turn 180 degrees um, and just go against what he initially said. Usually Trump is very, um, once he sets a messaging and a, you know, a direction, he sticks with it. So highly unusual to me, you know, if I was him, I probably would have tried to pressure Mitch McConnell a bit more. Maybe he did. We don't know. Um, maybe there was a lot of pressure internally and he saw that there wasn't that much he could do. He wanted to avoid a mass country shutdown. So very interesting. Let's see what the news sources have to say. This just came out a few hours ago. So let's let's see and react to it. Uh, this massive spending bill, which includes $900 billion of coronavirus relief. But of course, we should note, Dana, that this only happened after the president allowed those unemployment benefits for more than an estimated 12 million Americans to lapse at midnight last night. Uh, so uh, while the president is signing this legislation, it is not without some pain for millions of Americans that has already occurred. Uh, but at the same time, perhaps millions of Americans can also begin to breathe a sigh of relief this evening, knowing that some help at least will be on the way. Yeah, and Jeremy, I was just gonna uh, take it back from you to let you look down at your phone. I, I've been there before. I know what it's like to try to get news from sources while you're talking on TV. It's not easy. If anybody can do it, you can, I know. Uh, but th this is big news, uh, and it shouldn't be big news. It shouldn't be big news because this should have been signed the moment that the president got this legislation. And it's because his team was involved. His treasury secretary was a major negotiator in this bipartisan deal. Was it what the president wanted? No. Was it what Democrats wanted? No. Was it what his Republican colleagues on Capitol Hill wanted? No. That's why it's called. Yeah, so you have CNN basically covering it last night, but they said they really emphasized that gap in, you know, we had millions of people who had a gap in their unemployment insurance for about 24 hours, you know, and there was unneeded suffering. So we know that the government shutdown will be averted today and we'll see if there's still the in-person votes that occur that was scheduled to occur today at 3 p.m. One for the planning of the veto act against the National Defense Act and this and the vote for $2,000 stimulus check. In theory, that could probably still happen, but it's unlikely now that the government has has uh, signed the $600 act. So let's take a look at also Bloomberg's re reaction. Disgrace, and now he signed it. So. Uh, to explain that, he's issued a statement uh, saying that he's going to sign the bill, but he's sending a strong message, that's his wording, um, to call on Congress to remove certain items that he says are wasteful. Um, he's going to um, send a formal rescission request, um, insisting, again, his word, 
that those funds be removed from the bill. So uh, a lot of window dressing here, um, but the fact is he's, uh, he's back down from what he had seemed to be threatening just a few days ago. What does this mean? Yeah, so we had basically Bloomberg report that he had signed it, but he wants to reframe some of the wording. And we can see it in his Twitter as well. If we, he, he, noted, he tweeted, tweeted last night, you know, good news on the Corona relief bill information to follow. So even, you know, he's trying to reframe it as a win for, for Trump. And we, we had pressure from Bernie last night. He's like, just sign it, President Trump. You know, he was on a few news sources last night pressuring, um, I, I think he was on Yahoo, Yahoo News saying that Trump should just go ahead and suffer and sign the bill to avoid suffering from people. Um, similar communication from Pelosi, just saying, you know, the direct payments can possibly go out tomorrow. So very interesting turn of events in the next 72 hours. We'll see how this all plays out, if there's any further changes in the stimulus plan going in the next few days of 2020. Thanks for watching. So that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching and visiting the channel. Please subscribe and like the video. And if you could do me a huge favor and let your family and friends know about the channel, that would be awesome. See you next time. Bye.